Virgo. What's up, cousin? What's poppin'? What's going on in the life of a Virgo but for the month of January 2019? First and foremost, Happy New Year. Many blessings. Much prosperity. Much success. We are healthy. We are, ble we are blessed. We are wealthy. We are prosperous. Look out. Let me tell you something. You guys, we damn made it. Do you understand? We damn made it. This will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Virgo. Hey, boo, hey. If this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say, all right? So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another reader who could best uh, assist you, all right, with um, resonating with you better, who don't cuss, okay? Uh, but um, no love lost, you guys. You Y'all, I got to say, when I got to y'all energy, I felt, if I must say, I'm motherfucking tired. Like, I'm motherfucking tired. And it's kind of interesting because y'all my baby. So I was just like, why am I feeling like this? <laughs> so with that, I said, you know what, family, we got to talk. All right. So to all of my new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We live dysfunctional. We don't fight. We don't fuss. We do that shit on other people's channel. All right. But we do love. We share. We grow. We evolve. We enlighten. We positive shit only over here. Okay. To all of um, my returning family members, what's up, boo? What's what's going on? How how y'all handling this damn eclipse energy? Hmm. Hmm. This damn new moon and Capricorn energy. I pray that a lot of you guys put your petitions up. Alright. So, without further ado, this will be for the month of January. If you need a personal reading, that will be available up until January the 10th. Okay. With the $15 off special going on for my 30 through 60 minute sessions. So, go ahead and get that in. I am available. Alright. After that, I'm going on break break. So I ain't going to be no mid-month, but I will see y'all like with a flash for the month of February. All right? So you guys, without further ado, we're going to get into it. Okay? You guys, thank you for all of the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I truly appreciate it, guys. I couldn't have grown without you. Thank you for just sticking with me throughout this journey. Thank you, God. Thank you all for literally just being so supportive, so loving. You know, I truly appreciate you all for all of my new friends, my new family members that I've met on this journey and we can knock on the year, y'all. You know, it's been quite the journey. <laughs> but, you know, we still trucking. And I just thank you for just being who you are. Thank you for your loyalty. You guys are awesome. I appreciate it. All right. So, we're going to start off with your Archangel message for the month of January. Actually, you guys got two. I was pulling one for the signs, but you know, when Spirit talks, I left them. All right. So, the message that I got from you guys, oh, and these cards are the Archangel, no, yeah, they're the Archangel Doreen Virtue cards. All right. Oracle, Oracle deck cards. Yeah, I'm so oh, I'm working on it. Okay. The message that you guys got was take your power back. Archangel Raziel, use your God given power and intention to manifest blessings into your life. Okay. So it's your belief. All right. Thought, word, action. All right. Manifesting is also doing. So definitely put your intentions out there and ensure that they're coming from a positive intention, a positive space. All right. The next message that you guys received was clear audience, and that's also what I felt a lot of you guys are honing a new ability, eh? Hmm. This message comes from Archangel Zadkiel. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people, okay? So there's this, there's this true need to truly trust yourself, you guys. It's a need to truly understand that it's not where we've been, you get what I'm saying? But where are we trying to go? You understand? All right, so let's get into this thing. Well, spirit message for my signs of Virgo, my cousins. What the hell y'all do for New Year's? Is y'all popping bottles? Hope y'all ain't pop too damn many. I'm going to give them a belt. Y'all know, know the conversations. Y'all know where we've been at. Coming from 2018, I'm going to get the belt. All right. Let's see what messages we have for the lovely sign of Virgo. For January 2019. All right. So I got a lot of you guys are balancing out past life karma during this time. All right. I feel that you guys are in this place where sold contracts, tying up debt, 
paying them debt, them karmic debts. And for some of you all, it's receiving that, all right? So being open. Especially if you guys are dealing with Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, um, or Aquarius, okay? Um, some of you guys, that karmic cycle, okay, or that karmic debt, past life cycle, soul contract could involve a father issue, I mean, father issues, okay, for some of you all. It could also be your perception around, you know, what it is that you allow in your life based on your perception of, you know, how you grew up, you know, or your attachment. Maybe some of you all did not have a father or maybe you lost your father. And, you know, I, I'm sorry, you guys, I hate to talk about that, you know, but it's the reality and it's truly living because even when we go, we still got work to do in other dimensional places. So. For some of us, we shall see those souls again. For some of you all, you may be having dreams during this time um, about um, some type of father figure, ancestry, or I'm hearing grandfather, so it could be your grandfather, okay? But for some of you all, you're definitely dealing with some type of father figure, okay? This could be your father. This could be the father of your children, but it's definitely um, actually balancing out karma. For some of you all, it's actually just really acknowledging the fact that, you know, and really kind of visiting the place for some of you all I'm hearing in your youth, okay? I'm hearing the number 12. I'm hearing the number 7. I'm also hearing the number 9. Um, oh, my goodness. For some of you all, we're going to have to go there. We family. I don't want to cry tonight. But some of you all, it's giving you that harmony back inside and balancing out that karma in it, 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 and it's coming in the form of forgiveness, okay, an opportunity to forgive for some of you all because maybe you were um, physically abused by your father. Some of you all were molested. That's, that's really deep, you know, and I, my heart and my condolences go out to you, you know, and being able to endure and actually um, push through in a very courageous way. You know, that's a very sensitive subject, and I got to say, it's not one that I can't really relate to, okay? So, you guys, my heart goes out to you, and I truly, really admire your strength and being able to forgive during this time, okay? All right. <clears throat> some of you all, some of you guys, um, there's some type of legal, legal, um, judgment that's going to be made this could be with the father of your children especially if you've been going through some type of legal battle i've also i also heard paternity okay so for some of you all it's actually forgiving someone who wronged you who could be some type of uh, father figure okay for some of you all, i also heard the word uncle so this could also be an uncle but it's definitely balancing out that karma because for some of you all you've kind of gotten the front row seat i'm hearing someone being released from jail during this time so there's this need to forgive, all right? Y'all gonna make me cry. I don't want to cry. I want to stay in this positive space. I don't want to cry, y'all. Oh, shit. All right. Yeah, for some of you all, some of you guys, I feel, Spirit has really been trying to get your attention through your dreams. There's this need to focus on your health for some of you all as well. I'm hearing the word detox. Some of you guys need to or will be detoxing during this time. There's this need to... um take spiritual baths as well I'm here some of you all I don't know if some of y'all have been with or like maybe in the month of December or November was going to some type of like um Reiki Reiki healing specialist or some type of specialist but for some of you all you're really needing to reconsider your your healing sessions with somebody because they really them people ain't right that as far as the energy that they're actually that you're receiving from them, if you've been feeling sick, like after this particular session, you find yourself throwing up and shit of that nature, for some of you all, it's not, it's not right. I feel that you really need to get more research um, as far as some type of other um, healing, um, healing session for you or some type of, some other treatment, okay? For some of you all, you really, um, there's a need for you guys to really do the internal work during the month of January. And I do see you guys moving forward. Some of you guys really use work or some type of like financial endeavor to cope with some of the things that you deal with internally. Or some of you guys, I really feel during this time, will be putting up a hell of a poker face instead of actually showing people your emotions during this time, even though internally you really feel broken due to, um, for some of you all, I'm really feeling this 
issue or this acknowledgement, okay, or this healing that is coming or taking place with a father figure or from a father figure. <clears throat> and some of you all, there's a need for you guys to really work on your throat chakra as well. For some of you all, I'm also seeing um, the solar plexus. Some of you guys are really needing to, some of y'all really needing to forgive your twin flame as well. Or your twin flame really wants forgiveness in order for that divine partnership to move forward. All right, yeah. Some of you guys, you're definitely going to be healing, um, healing issues as far as childhood wounds. Okay, for some of you all, this could be issues around someone who actually did physically abuse your child. All right, I definitely feel there's going to be emotions stirred uh, around the first and second week of January due to someone possibly being incarcerated or being released uh, from incarceration due to some type of, um physical abuse to a child or for some of you all maybe you never met your father and your father is being released and you just have a lot of questions because it wasn't like the person didn't have the opportunity but you really needed to heal that and really kind of come to terms with accepting that within yourself and I really feel that for some of you all you you kind of avoid doing that work you kind of focus on getting money and building this life of stability for yourself and you find yourself in that karmic cycle with people who you deal with either they surface some type of abandonment issue that you've been carrying possibly since childhood so there's a need to truly truly take your power back and I feel like that really comes from gaining that harmony within you because I think now a lot of you guys are really acknowledging during this time that it's unhealthy and you're kind of reflecting on the people who you've led in your life or who you who've come into your life who kind of resemble that same vibration you get what i'm saying and it's it's one that you can really break free from but it's really going to take first acknowledgement second i'm hearing detoxification because it's for you guys not to be putting your damn issues into a damn bottle period some of you could also be dealing with issues um legal matters around your children as well during this time some of y'all, you dealing with a very vindictive, it, it, it's a need for you guys not to be, to come from a very pure place in the month of January and not be vindictive when it comes to dealing with children. Break the cycle. Because for some of you all, even with your mothers, I feel like that could have been the issue. And some of you guys are going to be reconciling with your father to find out that was the issue and why you possibly didn't have Um that growing up okay so this is going to resonate with some people not with everybody but spirit is really really this is a very healing period for my babies and spirit is really 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 wanting me to go in deep because for some of you all i feel like there's a sense of confusion of why i keep hearing why 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 and it's, it's a cycle for some of you all that you feel stuck or trapped in but really on the cool healing comes from within you yeah for some of you all you're on the brink of a spiritual union, okay? I feel like for some of you all, this could be um, with a Pisces person. This could be um, with a Taurus person. This could be with a, um Aquarian person. But I definitely feel like, or this could also be a union that's ultimately faded. I feel like it's a union that's trying to stabilize. It could definitely be someone who you have a child with, okay? Or some type of like shared family dynamic. But I definitely feel like for some of you guys, some of y'all thought y'all was going to get a damn divorce and you just straight up not. Um, this person has had a damn change of heart. This person has went through this awakening since they've been away from you. They've opened up their heart chakra and they're really ready to come in and love you. But because that person surfaced some type of abandonment issue within you, you just really like, no. Nah. <clears throat> or you don't really want to trust it or it's affecting you in some kind of way where it's causing some type of emotional like shifting within you like a roller coaster like a push and pull for some of you all every time i speak about that situation i feel like i can't speak it off so for some of you all you really don't know what to say or this other person externally trying to travel to you really don't know what the hell to say i feel like they're just really going to be speaking from a heart space and for some of you it may come off it's like child like some of you guys could share a child or could have known this person from childhood some of y'all are very internally conflicted as far as moving forward in the union. And I feel like, again, it's that vulnerability, that fear of being vulnerable again, fear of opening yourself up to being hurt again. But I feel like going towards the second to third week of January, I feel like things are going to move <clears throat> move and flow um, within some type of divine partnership, something that was already faded before um, 
pretty much you agreed to this shit before you came here. You get what I'm saying? It's a soul contract. So with that, I feel like for some of you all, you could definitely have a child with this person. And you could be dealing with legal issues right now with this person. But there's a need for you not to come from a manipulative space. <clears throat> and for some of you all, you're skeptical, skeptical because this person possibly came from a manipulative space or possibly left you like, well, you had to financially pick yourself up from the ground. And some of y'all are having a hard time with forgiving. Yeah, some of you guys, some of y'all are going to be finding out that you have a new baby. Congratulations, Mocha Love the Kids. Hey, boo, hey. <laughs> I love all of this feminine energy that's just bestowed upon us right now. Y'all, I'm with the shits, okay? I really feel like twerking this thing, y'all. I'm going to have fun on my damn break. Y'all better believe it. Anywho. Some of you all are really on the brink of financial blessings. I feel like once you come out of this internal conflict, there are you guys who are having issues with trusting. Open your heart and be receptive because I also see someone also coming with gifts, okay, bearing gifts. For some of you all, this person really don't know what to say. Or some of their some of them are having issues with <clears throat> apologizing. Maybe this person has only been taught, you know, not really to communicate, but to buy you something. You know, and some of you guys are really having to stand your ground but not come from a place of, you know, resentment or feeling as if, you know, you were overlooked. You get what I'm saying? There's a need for you guys to really visit that visit that particular vibration and really go and do some inner work on your um on your inner on some healing work on your inner child. Yeah. This is a very reflective time for my baby. Again, the first step is acknowledgement. For some of you all, you're really seeing yourself in a new light. That's the sexy energy that I'm really, really, really liking on Virgos for the month of January. For some of you all, it's that need to really see yourself and see the beauty within yourself. Some of you guys are going to see yourself with new eyes, and it's about damn time. The appreciation of the self. For some of you all, <clears throat> there is a spiritual union happening within the self. Where the divine masculine and the divine feminine within us all, okay, within the self, is really coming into union. And I feel like it's a battle of the mind and the heart. Some of you are, their heart chakra is opening up. You have a divine partnership that's coming in, in to, coming in to activate that heart chakra for some of you all. And I feel like some of y'all really been in your damn head. Really, you can manifest your reality in whatever you want it to look like, okay? Some of you guys, there's this sense of alchemy around you guys. Like some of you guys may actually be um, astro traveling and actually like amongst like geometrical sig like symbols. Oh, some of y'all are also going through. I saw this in Gemini as well. And uh, with the two faces here, some of y'all could definitely have a divine partnership with the Gemini. Or some of y'all could also be having babies by a Gemini. But I definitely feel that some of you guys are definitely closing chapters and being optimistic about opening new ones, but I feel like for some of you all, the constant back and forth, the negative thoughts are simply just that your fears, okay? Your fears around the idea of love. Some of y'all have a divine partnership with someone who has who's very telepathically connected to you. Some of y'all making love in the, in the fifth dimension during the month of January. Some of you all are really in thought because I feel like your dreams during this time are going to be extremely vivid. You really need to trust yourself, trust your dreams, take your power back because there's a conversation that Virgo is really avoiding and I feel like it has to do with perception. During this time, y'all going to take them damn rose colored glasses off in the month of January and just see situations of people for who they are. Some of y'all got some really dark people in your energy, straight up. Really protect your energy during this time, okay? And for some of you all, you really need to be more so grateful for the abundance that you have around you and really see it from a new, from a new place. For some of you all, you really needed to shift and <clears throat> shift and stop seeing what you do not have, and focus on what it is that you do have. What you what are you grateful for? Are you grateful for life, great health? Are you grateful for the prosperity that you are that you are manifesting in your world? For some of you all, you really want to be about manifesting what it is that you want, how it is that you want it to go, who it is that you want in your life. For some of you all, you cut motherfuckers out because it just don't work for you anymore. But some of you all, some of y'all may be seeing frogs during this time, and those frogs are symbolizing health, great health and abundance, okay? Same thing with those damn spiders. Don't kill them damn spiders. 
I'm about third eye. It's flourishing. It's popping during this time. But I definitely feel like with some of y'all have an all knowing. My high priest, my high priestess, y'all already know what the hell to do and y'all not speaking your truths and moving forward. You're going to get out of this place. Once you take them damn rose colored glasses off, because for for most of you, it's faded. But you, what's blocking you is this, this sense of like resentment or remorseful or like blaming yourself for things. You're going to have to get out of that vibration and truly see the beauty that's around you. It's time to, it's time to rise. It's time to flourish, baby. It's time to take flight. It's truly time to embrace the inner God, the inner goddess that lives within you. And come out of this place of what happened to you, but what happened for you. Because spirit is shedding the light on these things and surfacing these emotions in order for you to share your wisdom as the wisdom of the damn zodiac to help another person. To nurture. Some of you guys are spiritual teachers. And I definitely feel like, again, there's this balance of the masculine and the feminine. For some of you all, you definitely have an energetic shift with your twin flame. Some of y'all are actually telepathically connected to them and communicating with them in other dimensions like planning for things to actually surface and structure here within the 3D. And it's destined. It's, it's your destiny. Again, you signed up for this, my babies, because again, you are spiritual teachers. So there's a need for you guys to really, really, really focus on your life, on your life purpose during this time. And there's going to be a whole lot of soul remembrance or soul, like, soul remembrance activations i'd say because i definitely feel like some of you guys are definitely um kind of dabbling with alchemic things as well as the akashic records some of y'all gonna be having a lot of sticks in the month of january okay i'm done all right all right let go all right so that was a long ass spirit message now y'all had spirit had a bunch of stuff to say to y'all because i feel like a lot of you guys been juggling in your thoughts and kind of internally beating yourself up for situations that have already worked themselves out. You just have to believe that. And so be it, baby, all right? So let's dig briefly into your finances. What these coins looking like for my booze, though? Ooh, 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 ooh. These coins looking like for my booze, though. <laughs> you know, cousins like the coins. <laughs> We're going to say if your ass can't pay. You cannot stay. What do you say? <laughs> Get a spirit. What do you have? Oh, my sun, moon, rising, Venus, that loves the cross watches for the sign of Virgo for the month of January in finance. What messages do you have for Virgo in finance? And some of you guys, some of you guys really need to make a decision between um, two jobs during this time. Yeah, because I feel like some of you guys are really stressed out at a work environment. And for some of you all, you getting out of this period of not speaking your truth, Virgo, watch your temper, okay? For some of you all, I feel like some of y'all have a younger air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person, is if you've been feeling like this person is watching you at work, you're damn skipping. I feel like this person is kind of plotting and scheming on, this person is trying to... They're working behind the scenes. I don't feel like you and this person actually communicate with one another. I feel like you and this person really don't talk to one another. But this person, you really need to watch them during this time, especially when it pertains to um, the things that you're doing at work. So make sure that you're following all the rules, dotting all your P's, dotting all your I's, and uh, crossing all your T's, Virgo. Because I definitely feel like there's someone, there's a decision between you and another person during the month of January who's possibly going to have to... Um, leave a position okay but i feel like for some of you all it's a blessing in disguise because i feel like this is that catalytic push that you need to actually get off your ass and manifest what it is that your soul purpose is your pretty much your soul is pushing you off the damn cliff to move forward towards some of you guys are creators i'm literally hearing artists some of you guys are musicians and i feel that some of y'all are just gonna Wait on the woulda, coulda, shoulda. Well, when this workout and that workout and this workout and that workout, some of y'all are literally going from this five of pentacles during this time, okay, to an ace of pentacles. So for those of you who've been in your head indecisive, you know, really kind of losing sleep about leaving a job, okay, because you want to move towards a greater opportunity, baby, get out your damn head about it. Spirit says, yes, go now, okay? Now is the time. If you wait until your birthday and wait until this year, we're going to be talking about this in 2020. No, 
Now is the time, okay? I know y'all be like, Mocha's somebody, Mocha be fussing at us like she's somebody's mama. What the? I am somebody's mama. And if I see it, I'm going to say it. Yeah, some of you guys are truly not. There's a need for you guys to follow your passions. The reason why you are unfulfilled at that damn place is because it's not what you're passionate about. Some of you guys are moving away from this place of, I'm just showing up for a damn paycheck. Some of y'all, mm, mm, mm. some of you all, I feel like, especially if you were dealing with the Gemini at work, some of y'all was dealing with somebody at your job, and some of y'all are indecisive about leaving a job due to the fact that some of y'all have some type of connection with a twin flame at your damn job, or this, this person, you could be indecisive about leaving a job, because I feel like, You secretly don't want to, like, leave this person. It's like, for some of you all, the reason why this is is because some of y'all are attached to somebody else and you're married, okay? For some of y'all, y'all have a twin flame that's a Pisces person. And I feel like some of y'all are really, really, really indecisive on choosing love or stability, okay? For some of you all, you have stability with an earth sign. But some of y'all are afraid to leave, walk, leave behind an earth sign, all right? Especially for my at-home moms or uh, people who actually work from home. Maybe you're partnered with someone where you have some type of family dynamic and you really want to be with a twin flame union or it's not coming into fruition because you know you have to leave something or someone behind that is pretty much a blockage and a distraction spirit has revealed this to you you know and i feel like during this time you really need to trust your dreams because you're going to keep seeing it over and over and over again because alchemy is taking place right before your damn eyes my honeys and i feel like there's you have to relinquish this control issue that you have around it okay what's meant to be shall be all right if you make a free will decision not to move forward on that then that's on you you can't blame nobody else but you don't it's not for you to beat yourself up but there's this there's this need for blind leaps of faith, all right? <clears throat> Conversations that's needing to be had. Look, I'm done with that shit. I got to move forward. Because while you're living in this place of what you don't have, spirit is trying to give you better, but everybody cannot go, baby. Everybody can't go. For some of you all, there is greater opportunities towards careers if you just move away from this fixed-ass comfort that you're sitting in. You know, some of you all have been indecisive about leaving a damn job that you know is toxic. Spirit is going to remove you away from that job. Some of you guys have, some of y'all are kind of, some of y'all don't want to leave family members behind, even though you have an opportunity. Some of you are also, who, those of you who are waiting on uh, legal situations from possibly like a marriage, child support. It's coming, especially if you are attached to a Sagittarius, a Leo, an Aquarius, a Gemini, a Pisces, a, what is this, a Scorpio, okay? So for some of you all, there's a need for you guys to really chase your passions and really speak your truth, set clear boundaries in order for um, some type of firm some type of like firm foundation or some type of stable partnership. For those of you who have been kind of questioning moving forward in business, uh, possibly with another earth sign in partnership, I feel like it's a go, but one of you guys have control issues and one of you guys have a fear of being like messed over before it even happens. And I feel like that's something internally you guys are going to have to work on. For some of you all who feel stuck at a job, to be real with you, you're not stuck, but you're very loyal to the place. You don't want to leave. And some of you all have been there, I'm seeing, for 10, 11, 12 years. Some of you guys, 7 years. And that's really all that you know, but you really feel unfulfilled. I definitely feel like some of you guys are really going to have to make balance up. Make some type of, like, balance decision between making balance for your home and your work life. And for some of you all, some of y'all going to choose to work from home. So that you can actually be that nurturer to your children. For those of you who, some of y'all going to find out y'all pregnant as well. Which is why you're going to actually be leaving the job. I feel like some of whoever is finding out they're pregnant, your partner's not going to want you to work. But this person is going to be able to provide a stable foundation for you. Okay? And I feel like this you could definitely be dealing with another earth sign. Because I have the mother and the father of pentacles here. They don't have to necessarily be an earth sign. It could definitely be a fire sign as well. It could be any sign. But I feel like you're going to be dealing with someone who could actually provide you that stability. For some of y'all, it's an Aries person, all right? But I definitely see new um, financial opportunities actually being 
blessed moves for you guys. You just got to stop being afraid to make that leap, all right? Because fear ain't real. Say fear ain't real. Hey, I say fear ain't real. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with you guys in love for the month of January. All right? Fear, what messages do you have? But my vertigos in the for the month of January. A lot of you guys, a lot of you guys are walking away. I feel like if you were having issues with someone uh, from your past, a lot of you guys are victoriously moving away from those issues. And I feel like for some of you all, you're moving away from your past completely and you're having victory possibly with someone um, who is actually new in your life who could actually be a fire sign, Aries or Sagittarius. For those of you who was fighting with a damn fire sign, in the month of January, you're going to be coming out of that karmic period with that person, all right? I feel like especially if you were actually kind of internally conflict with moving forward with this person due to finances, okay? Some of you all, some of y'all are actually going to have a new beginning, new love with this damn Ace of Cups, all right? For some of you all, I do see an actual stable new beginning, but it's after completing a cycle that's actually toxic and, you know, and it's something that you really, really wanted, but... You're going to get something new and beautiful after walking away from something that I feel like you're really fighting yourself to try to control to keep. For some of you all, some of y'all are going to receive some fast moving communication, all right, from possibly an air sign. And this could be someone who you actually walked away from in the past for being damn indecisive on not knowing which way they want to move or what the hell that they want. I feel like someone wasn't making a decision, and that could have been an inner, term, inner conflict with you because my babies, y'all wanted movement. You wanted answers. What the hell are we doing? I feel like whoever, whomever this person is, now they're wanting to actually come in and put in the work. Virgo, I definitely feel like for some of you all, you're dealing with the earth sign, and I feel like for some of you all, you... Some of y'all are literally internally conflicted about leaving this person. This person is a karmic partner to you, this Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, for some of you all. And I feel like, again, there's this fear of not being financially stable, even though intuitively you know that you have a connection, a, a soulmate connection, to possibly a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I feel like this would be someone where there is this whomever this Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is, this will be new love, all right? For some of you all, this person will be coming in, I'm here in the second or the third week of January for some of you all. And I feel like whomever this is, this person has got, you, you're going to have to release them damn, release the control issues because whomever this person is, this person definitely wants to offer you their cup. This person is could be internally conflicted. They could have possibly had um, some type of family dynamic that they moved away from. But I definitely feel like they really want to offer you that. This person is very passionate about you as well. But I feel like either you, both of y'all look internally conflicted, but one person is kind of holding on to their emotions and they're afraid to be vulnerable. And I definitely feel like even though there's a lot of passion, just don't rush it. Just go with the flow. Be the water during this time. But set clear boundaries with this person, all right? Learn from the things that you've gone through in the past coming from that toxic relationship. Some of you guys have a new beginning with fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I definitely feel like this is after a period of, like, non-communication, all right? For some of you all, some of y'all being stalked or what, this could be y'all ass is stalking a fire sign, all right? This could definitely be, um, for some of y'all, this could be the mother or the father of your children as well. I feel like some of you all, there's a fire sign that really want to come from the, come out of the cold with you all. This could be somebody who you could have cut the hell off, but I feel like this person just had in and out energy. You're no longer accepting that in your damn life. You're just like, look out. You're going to come with the whole damn package and not half because I don't know what the fuck am I going to do with half. Can't buy half or nothing. I can't have half or nothing. But some of you all, it's a Leo, okay? Some of y'all are really wanting a fast. Some y'all have a some y'all got a new beginning with a Leo happening in love. And I feel like it's gonna come and catch you off guard very fast moving. With this person, I feel like this person has some type of like even though there's a lot of passion with this person, there is also um this person has some really unhealthy attachments. So make sure you just be very observative with this person, alright? For some of you all, there's new love coming in the form of a capital coin. And I feel like for some of you all, some of y'all fighting that connection. You know how you feel about this person. But either you or this other person 
it's coming out of this space of not not communicating. Now they want to now they want to talk. All right. But they like, damn it, no, Virgo, don't don't walk. I want to talk. <laughs> and Virgo was like, shit, hell yeah, you better say something because I'm finna block you because I got tired of the stalk. All right. Shit, I know what I know. All right, for some of you all, um, yeah, some of y'all, there's a Capricorn that wants to start over with you, offer you new love. I feel like this is, this person could have actually recently experienced a tower moment. Somebody thought the grass was green on the other side, Virgo. And for some of you all, you this is going to cause a tower moment for you, especially if you're dealing with the Scorpio person. Some of y'all dealing with the sign of Scorpio. And I feel like you having to make a decision. You know, for some of you all, do I leave this new person out in the cold? All right. When I feel not really out in the cold, but do I, some of y'all is having to make a decision about abandoning someone. And this could be new love after someone comes back from your past. Some of y'all are actually having to make a decision about moving forward and actually, moving forward and actually leaving someone from your past who you could have been with for quite some time. All right. But I feel like there's this sense of like losing a piece of yourself and doing so with this person and this person also has issues with being by themselves they was lost somebody thought that grass was green on the other side for some of you all this is tied to a past life connection this could also be the father of your children for some of you all this part this could have been the person that actually surfaced that whole abandonment issue and i feel like for some of you all you are going to come out of this, but there's this need to forgive. And for some of you all, there's this need to really heal that vibration. Some of y'all are really internally comforted. Some of y'all are losing sleep about it. Some of y'all, y'all dealing with a damn Sagittarius who really, really, really went in this period of solitude. And I feel like this person could have cut communication. This is definitely a past life partnership. Whoa. Yeah, but I feel like this person is wanting to come in and offer you something. For some of you all, it could also be something of like financial financial gain. This person could actually come in and buy you something after some type of deceit or deception of some type of form of betrayal. For some of you all, um, some of y'all y'all gonna find out during this time you're dealing with a Gemini who was given to two situations, or some of y'all could actually find out that this person could have. In their period of solitude, um, I'm hearing Gemini child. Some of y'all could find out this person, especially this person has a Gemini child. This person could still be given to two households. But I feel like it's more so having to do the transformative period. There's this need of perception, perception shift, okay? But I definitely feel like someone wants to come in and they want harmony with you, Virgo. And I feel like for some of you all, you really want to find that harmony within the self. And as soon as you get to moving in that vibration, moving into that newness and that renew, that renewed feeling, that, you know, that birth of confidence, that birth of, you know, really kind of seeing yourself with new eyes and really honing your abilities and really kind of really digging deep into the things that you really like, the things that you're really passionate about, following your creative endeavors, then boom, here comes this very damn transformative period in love for some of you all, with new love possibly in the form of a Scorpio, okay? And for some of you all, um, you could actually be finding out something also for some of y'all about a damn Scorpio, and I feel like if somebody actually went into some type of, somebody's karma, to be honest with you, and it also was the catalyst to someone's growth, was children, okay, was involved in children, so this could have been your children, Virgo, but I definitely feel like this could have also involved a third party situation, whatever karmic cycles that you guys were dealing with in 2018, they're trying to come to a close so that something new can be rebirthed, and I feel like for some of you all, this could be with an Aries person, all right, because Virgo, you are the empress, we're creating, all right, we're building, we're structuring, we're running empires and shit, I'll sit out beautiful and all confident, all right, in this damn empress energy. And for some of you all, congratulations, my beloved kids. But for some of you all, it's coming to terms either with your father, the father of your children. But that harmony, the emperor misses his damn empress, damn it, Virgo, what you gonna do? You gonna roll with the emperor's new groove or not? <laughs> So I definitely see reconciliations, and for some of you all, you've been manifesting this this new cycle as well as ending this karmic cycle, okay, ending the toxic side of the cycle with the soulmate, all right? For some of you all, you are going to be celebrating new births. Some of y'all are going to be celebrating engagements during this time. Some of y'all are going to be moving to new places, new jobs, new shit only, Virgo, good shit in 2019. So this is what I do have for you all, my babies, 
for the month of January 2019. I pray that it resonates. Y'all know I'm I talk fast and I be all over the place because I gotta get the messages for me. I gotta get them out when they come. And I'm a fast talking ass individual anyway. But I love you all. If um this does resonate, you guys comment, like, share, subscribe, let me know what it do do. If you need a personal reading, y'all better go and hit me up before the 10th or by the 10th. Um, I'm gonna extend it to like the 12th, but after the 10th, I'll only be taking emergency readings only. Um, and that price range is a bit different, all right? So I love you guys. Much love, much light, many blessings. Namaste. Bye, y'all. Love y'all.